chance to meet with a bunch of the veteran guys. And early on in my career, I'd go into the 49ers locker room and like you wouldn't talk to that offensive line. It was Mike, Mike Upati and all these big names and they were just mean, bad dudes and they would mock the media. And one guy I would always look at was Joe Staley. And I'm like, Joe Staley's so big and so intimidating, but I'm trying to get a quote. And it wasn't always the easiest thing to do because that team was so hardcore. They're, I met Joe Staley at length last week, and I got to tell you, Joe Staley's one of my favorite players in the entire NFL. 33 years old, 12th season with the 49ers. This guy has protected 11 different quarterbacks with the Niners. That's Dilfer, Alex Smith, Chris Wenke, Sean Hill, J.T. O'Sullivan, Trey Smith, Cap, Gabbert, Hoyer, C.J. Beathard, and now Garoppolo. But this guy has a huge personality. Forget all the charity stuff. That alone is amazing. He's incredibly, incredibly philanthropic. But watch him here, and they gave him a microphone. I, I can't get enough of it. It's called The Joe Show. It's on 49ers.com. And then next to Good Morning Football, it might be the best sports television show you got Ooh. going. Now, if you were to give your five attributes that you think that you bring to the table that is something that probably no one else in the whole entire NFL brings, what would that be? No one else in the entire NFL? Yeah, name off the top of the head right now. Rick, come on, go on. Uh, you're a man of action or, or reaction? I, I guess I'm being one of reaction right now. Uh... <laughs> um, great guy, smart. You don't think there's anybody else in that's the NFL that's, that's a great guy? What else do I? Do? You don't. You don't. So you just put everybody on notice in the NFL that there's not. He's not met one guy that's I'm nice. Pretty, I'm a pretty. You are not that pretty. No, I know. I'm not. I'm not talking about my looks. I'm saying I'm probably. It's real boisterous in the locker room right now. I'm probably not any different than anybody else in the nfl to be honest with you there's not a lot of special characteristics about me did you do a lot of squats when you were in college yes what's your number one max rep like 520 pounds that is unbelievable add that to the list there's not anybody in the nfl that squats 500 did you say 500 you're lying right to my face 500 pounds <laughs> this guy is a beast <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and that's, not done. that's rookie Mike wow. McGlinchey, who's coming in as a top ten yeah. pick, and Staley's going to be like the mentor. Just messing with I him. I love it. We talk about Garoppolo a lot on this show, and we're like, oh, Garoppolo, like he's some like matinee idol. Joe Staley puts him in his place. Watch this. <laughs> All right, can you take two minutes out of your busy schedule? Talk about this outfit that you put together this morning. What was the thought process behind this? Are you a big ripped jean guy? T-shirt, Jordan sneakers, or is this a is this a special day for you? Talk about that. Well, the other day I saw you come in here with ripped jeans, uh, a collared shirt with another collared shirt underneath it. Pop one of them popped. Uh, yeah, just one. And uh, in a fedora. Yeah, no, nah, that was the that was last. Were the puka shells on that I was well, I was wearing? Them. Thong sandals. You and, and a thong. And a thong. I didn't see that part, but uh, yeah, my wife did. <laughs> No comment for that one. Uh, yeah, I saw all that and thought I had to catch up to you and try to keep up with your style. This is what you came up with? Yeah, this is the best thing I got. All right, man, cool. All Good right, thing. go enjoy your day. Did pass the test? Yeah, you look fine. Thanks, man. All right, that's Jimmy. He's cool guy. I love he does it with a coffee cup in his hand. That's Jimmy. That's cool guy. He also interviews Matt Breida and has him singing, and he tells Mike McGlitchie to do show tunes. The Joe Show. It's on 49ers.com. 12 years in the league. He's one of the great dudes in the league. Reggie, you played with him. I Staley's played with him. the man. He, he really, he's everything that you just said. Um, he, he's a riot in the locker room. Uh, he, we actually were in the same draft class. Um, he actually lives in San Diego, so I keep in touch with him. Uh, but, yeah, just a great guy, man, a great ambassador for the league, for the team. Um, yeah, he, he's a great guy. Joe yeah. Staley, my new favorite player. But do you think that he went to the front office or to, and, and to the social media person and said, I want to do this? Or do you think they were like, no, you have to? I think this is 12 years in the locker room of being that guy and them yeah. saying, you're better than people on yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you're 100%. hilarious, dude. Do That's it. stuff with the Lynch. That was a classic chop yeah. bust, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a hard time. <laughs> Just messing with him. He was so good at it. I loved it. You okay, know. here's what I learned this month. I learned that, I mean, I already know that Peter Schrager is an igniter. Okay. He's an energizer. He is caffeine to some of these NFL players. But what I learned is that I do believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers might make it 
far into the playoffs, maybe into the Super Bowl, because I know Peter Schrager. I'm going to take this back to Peter and the Super Bowl-winning Philadelphia Eagles. Not on the night they won the Super Bowl, even when they made it to the postseason. This is Jimmy Graham, or not Jimmy Graham, this is uh, Brandon Graham. During the, was it during the postseason? Divisional round after they beat the Falcons, yeah. yeah you weren't there, but you kind of <laughs> were. Take a look. I got something for Peter Schrager. You wrong again. I guess you ain't never played football. The Eagles can't do what? Peter Schrager. Yeah. You better believe it. And I'm just happy that, you know, everybody was against us, and we went out there and proved them wrong once again, and we're going to do it again next week. How much did it motivate you that you were underdogs in your own house? Man, it felt so good because we, we worked our butt off this year, and we're not going to, you know, let up. And, you know, you got to beat us. And uh, I'm just happy that, um, you know, we, we came together. And like I say, Peter Schrager, you was wrong. We, hey, good morning football. Y'all need to have that boy on there no more because he was wrong. <laughs> That's the best. All right, so then fast forward to the Super Bowl. You don't want to show this yet. But he fumbled well, it. Of course has. Of course. The game when you play. needed him, he came through. Brandon Graham rips the football out of the hands of Tom Brady. They finally hit Tom Brady, and Barnett comes up with the football. Hold on, hold on. It worked. Frags, <laughs> it worked. And I don't even we don't even need to go into the fact that you said nothing bad right. about Brandon Graham. It was actually like a miscommunication. What he was Kyle doing like a sarcastic, a sarcastic rant. rant. He was giving them a rub. She was like, You guys can't win. And oh, they yeah. they showed Doug Peterson showed them this and they also thought Kyle was it's a long story. <laughs> it was deep. Reggie, it's like inception. Reggie, yeah. none of it matters because Brandon Graham was so charged up by Preter Schrager. Uh, Preter Schrager. Saying that that he went on and he gave Tom Brady the business when the defense wasn't doing anything all game long and won the Super Bowl. So this is you're you're an igniter. You, I know. You are, you are it's a hateable face. Guys, yes. No, you're, <laughs> you're punchable. Or punchable. No, you sti you you stimulate. You ro like yeah. rouse up these yeah, guys. He does. And I have no doubt that he'll do it with Gerald McCoy because Gerald McCoy. I don't I don't even know which one we have. Do we have Gerald McCoy? I bet we do. It's on our own show, right? I would yeah. assume right, so it's new trash. Peter. Here's Peter on the Buccaneers. I'm looking at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> they went from being an overpriced, inflated bunch of softies to now having one of the angriest, meanest defenses in the league. They said, let's go into the woods. They're camping. We're going camping. Not clamping. We're going camping, and the guy that's going to lead our way is a free is a trade that they made, Jason Pierre-Paul, with a nice chance to redeem himself and show this city here in New York, hey, I ain't done, mm. and I've got more to show. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I'm here to defend Tampa. That's why I have on this Batman hoodie. Peter. We got some stuff yes. to talk about, man. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's do it. What, what do we got? Because I, I know what I think you're saying. I called the Tampa Bay defense yeah. last oh, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh oh. Mm. Let me get this right. Overpriced, inflated softies. I want to okay. know who you're talking about. No, calm down, Gerald. You know you are always exempt on that list. That is not you. Hey. There are certain guys on that team who are no longer there. The guys right. have moved on and it given you the help around you now. Yeah. And Gerald McCoy, you finally have the confidence on the defensive line. I was giving you love. All right. I'm, you know, we had to clear some things up before we have some fun on this show. <laughs> Tell me that Gerald McCoy isn't going to have an MVP season now because That's he is fighting of Peter. him yeah. and catalyzing that to happen. I can see him walking off the field already <laughs> at the divisional <laughs> round. That's what I learned. He might yeah. need you to say something bad about the Cavs right now so they can go in there and get yeah. You didn't even say anything Apple bad about him. That's the funny part. I didn't. I, well, obviously, Gerald Both McCoy times. Himself, that guy's an all-pro. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the guys around there paying. That said, it's been a while since we've seen the Buccaneers in the playoffs. <laughs> Whatever works, Gerald. <laughs> Good Morning Football is brought to you by the Spark Cash Card from Capital One. Earn unlimited 2% cash back on every purchase every day. We had long deployments in Iraq. Really grateful that USA was able to.